climate change brings with it higher temperatures, um, less freeze events, uh, sea level rise, and so that impacts everything from isolated depressional wetlands embedded in the landscape to coastal salt marshes like this in a variety of different ways. My name is Haviland Steinmuller. I'm a PhD candidate in the Department of Biology, and my degree will be in conservation biology. I grew up in coastal Louisiana, where land loss and uh, wetland loss is a, a big topic. And so I got really interested in soils and how they're responding to global climate change. Wetlands are very important in the global carbon cycle and their ability to help mitigate climate change by storing that carbon in the soil. This is kind of what we're interested in. We'll divide this into different depth segments, correlates with different ages of soil, and then you can look into the soil. It's all just dead root material, some material that was washed up with tides, but it's super, super rich in carbon. The wetlands cover less than 8% of the land area um, along the surface of the earth, but they actually sequester 16% of global uh, carbon stores. So it's, it's a serious amount of carbon. And these natural ecosystems are our buffers to a lot of the impacts of the ocean as sea level rises, uh, storm surges come in. And so it's very important to understand uh, how we can maintain the health of these systems, how they're changing over time to protect humans. <laughs>